we get a lot of questions about infant exams and infant chiropractic, and so today, baby Naomi is going to help show our audience what an exam looks like. So we check head to toe. What we're checking for is range of motion of all the joints, including the hip joints. We do a lot of orthopedic and reflex exams when needed. We check the spinal mobility, shoulders, wrists, ankles, head. We'll check for some cranial fixations. One of my favorite ways to palpate or check her spine is just with her laying face up and my hands wrapped around underneath. And we just slowly check to see if there are any joint fixations here. Oftentimes I'm just looking for baby's own response to pressure. That gives us a lot of information about what's going on in her spine. The dura, which is the covering of the spinal cord, is oftentimes sort of hitched up during utero, in utero. And so there are a number of different ways that we check for tension in her dura. And most of the time babies enjoy this exam a lot. Sometimes if we find something that's causing them discomfort, uh, they'll react to that. So some of the reasons babies come in to see us include constipation, reflux or spitting up, uh, torticollis, which could be a neck rotation preference. Naomi actually has a slight preference to right rotation, and we'll check that a little bit more specifically. We always want to check and see if she has the ability to move her head both ways, um, always with her permission and consent. And we can use our little tiny hands to check her little tiny bones in her neck. Um, other reasons babies might come in, newborns may see us. Nursing difficulties is one of the main ones. If they're inconsolable at all, which may also be dubbed as colic, or uh, if they have a trouble sleeping through longer than a half hour or an hour, we oftentimes want to check and make sure their nervous system is not overloaded. Then we want to check her on her tummy. There's a number of ways we do that. Sometimes we like this position. And just palpate her back this way. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, the exam also includes um, taking off the onesie and checking different landmarks on the skin and making sure there's not, nothing alarming there, but we'll do that off camera. Okay, one more thing, baby. One more important thing, I want to do a full and thorough cranial exam, which also involves looking inside her mouth, feeling her sucking reflex. Let's see if she'll open for us. There we go. So we can see there's more going on with her neck, and so we'll cover some of that in the next video where we'll do some adjustments on Naomi. Just check that jaw as well. So now we're going to move on to some treatment of baby Naomi. One of the main things, so she's only three weeks old, two weeks old, two weeks old. So one of the main things we're going to do is not do what look like adult adjustments on this baby, but she needs adjustments because there's clearly some joint fixations in her spine. So some of these adjustments just involve me holding her in a position that I want her to be in. And you can see that a lot of times her body will move into a compensating position to even that all out. So that's what we're doing right now is we're just going to be encouraging a little bit of neck rotation to the left, which is not her favorite position. And this is all done with her letting us move her. If there's ever any muscle tension or fighting against or resistance, we, we go with that. We don't fight against it. So you can see she's really working to help me out here. Good. And I can just slowly feel that her head is turning to the right. I've got my hand on a very specific contact under her neck. 
and she's, she's just able to nice and relax, move her head to the left, which is great. Want to do a little bit more on the cranial loosening. <clears throat> so we're going to go back inside her mouth, bring her head to neutral. <clears throat> and there's a number of ways to loosen up her cranial bones. And she actually has a great suck. Like not too hard. Sometimes we do feel it's too hard. Um, one thing I didn't mention in the prior video is facial asymmetry. We often look to make sure there's not a smaller eye <clears throat> or a flatness in the head. And those are obviously reasons to come in and see a chiropractor as well. She has a great suck. <laughs> Keep looking for my trash can over there. Okay, now let's work on your dura. So we're gonna check her low back, her sacrum. <clears throat> Oftentimes the sacrum is a little bit malpositioned in babies. So I've got my hand underneath and I'm just doing some track directional traction. Again, her body is gonna move into the direction that makes her feel better and get some relief. And she doesn't seem to have, well, does she have spitting up issues? I don't think so, but she did. <laughs> so we're just gonna check that mid back and same thing here. Adjustments in the mid back just really have to do with really specific directional pressure. So you just won't see us thrusting into babies or feeling a lot of big popping noises, but you will feel joint mobility in them. They're very, very easy. They respond very quickly to adjustments. So mom could notice after her adjustments today that she sleeps better, uh, longer, she may nurse better, um, both sides, she, she really didn't have a whole lot coming in, but a lot of times babies who have been having constipation issues will go right after their adjustment. Those kinds of things, she's waking up. So I'm also checking her diaphragm right now. A lot of times there can be some things we wanna check in through there. All right, and that's about it for Naomi's first adjustments.